Happy Halloween! Happy we, Halloweener! We look like we work at a store. And Hi, apology. welcome to Mac. We do look like we work at Mac. Yeah, oh why, why are we doing this? This was us on our Sephora days together in the black t-shirt. It really was. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> We're so getting ready for our Halloween podcast episode, yeah. and we figured we'd film the process. I am being Angelina Jolie in Maleficent. And, and I'm you... doing Gaga 2010 VMAs in the meat dress. I will say my costume is super easy. Like, everything's on Amazon. It's super affordable. And the longer I'm looking at it, her makeup is not difficult. Like, oh, very I think we minimal. both have very minimal makeup looks. Yes. Like, putting this makeup on, we're going to look regular. Absolutely. Like, this is the first time I've shaved in forever. Hacked up. Girl. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. I was literally bleeding everywhere all around here because I haven't shaved in so long. <laughs> I do feel like mine is probably a really easy last minute costume because you can get all of this on Amazon. Stay tuned for the Halloween Beautiful and Bothered episode. Make sure to follow that channel, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. All right, let's dive in. Let's do it. Chicka chee. <laughs> We're both using the Rare Beauty brow pencil. You got this because I was telling you it's amazing. Amazing, and it is by far the it's best brow pencil I think I've ever used. It's so good, I don't know what it is. It's incredible, It's you know what it is? You put it perfectly, it's like a pomade texture, Absolutely. but in a pencil form, but it's not too smooth and it's not too hard. It doesn't rip my brows out yes. like other ones do. All right. Brows are on. <laughs> we prime the lids. <laughs> I used the Anastasia concealer. Obsessed. I need a new one. She's old. I did the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant and I like clean up my brows with that. For <laughs> eyes, Angelina Jolie's eyeshadow is very simple. This little Sigma palette actually might work perfectly. And then we're also going to dip in the new Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. You yes. Now y'all know if you're coming from the podcast, you know that I've been yes. waiting for this palette. I am like so excited to use Have this. Have you used use this on your eyes yet? No. So this is my first time trying this, so wow. I'm a little nervous, but I feel like it would work for both of our looks. Totally, totally. So I was like, all right, what a perfect time to try it. Her makeup is not very smoky either. So that's what I mean. I feel like this is a super easy last minute uh, Halloween costume. I got everything, which you'll see on Amazon. They have like the horns, a neck piece, literally just wear a black dress. It's super easy. I feel like as you get older, you don't have time to prepare for Halloween. And then it's like two days before and someone invites you to a Halloween party and you're like, oh fuck, it's you're Halloween. Like, like, yeah. yeah. You're like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah. I plan my Halloween looks the year before. Oh my God. Okay, talk about your costume. Wait until you see this. So it's the <laughs> meat dress, the shoes, everything. Talk about how you made this. I wanted to do a Gaga look that was iconic and incredible and something that was like kind of unforgettable. And I was like, oh my God, you know what? I think I really want to do the meat dress. I thought it was just going to be something so unattainable and just like a little ridiculous. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, like well, I, that's, where the hell would you even get that? You know what I mean? Oh, completely. Because I feel so, like if you found that to buy it, it would be someone who like made it and is selling it on Etsy for a million dollars. And or, or it's like one piece of fabric and it exactly. barely looks like me. So I went ahead and opened up Amazon, you know, thank God for Amazon. Mm -hmm. and, and I was like, okay, let's see if I can find like a raw meat looking <laughs> fabric. Because like, I'm sure someone out there would have it. As and, one like, does. Lo and behold, that there was a shower curtain that looked like raw meat. And Which, so, who is buying a raw meat shower curtain? Besides, like... A serial killer. And yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then my friend, Jeff, who turned looks and everything, oh he's, God. like, really good with a glue gun. So you know? creative. Listen, do you think you could do this? He's like, of course I can. And turned it out, cut the meat layers along, like, the grain of the meat, if you... Yes. If the you grain will. of the meat! Like, whatever yes. that's... I know it's, there's probably a term for it. I mean, he made me the meat purse, the meat hat, everything. It the was shoes. So, oh, and the shoes! How could I forget the I iconic know. shoes? They wrapped meat around her high heels, so I bought wedges. Yes! More comfortable. They're, like, almost platform. They look like elevator shoes, yeah. like, from the outside. He came here yesterday, he brought his costume, and the first thing out of his mouth, he's like, uh, yeah, I was looking for my fishnets. <laughs> looking for my fishnet and I just burst out laughing because I'm like of course you, you have like stock fishnets oh like, my god I did and it's crazy I had so many pairs I'm like I can only find my hot pink ones my god and I had neon green ones that I wore to the chromatica ball yes because I was gonna do pink and green fishnets and like stitch them together so it was oh, like cool. half and half but I was like oh no they get what they get yeah so see I'm doing the eyeshadow like more rounded I'm not really bringing it up and out and honestly the way she had her makeup 
Gaga. It was more of a cut crease where I feel like cut creases on me don't always look great. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of doing like same tone of shadow. Cause I feel like when her eyes were open, just looking straight, it like barely looked like she had shadow on mm -hmm. anyway. So I was like, what a waste. So I'm kind of doing like a half cut crease with yeah. like the brown. So I'm like, I'm not really going full in. I hate everything. <gasps> Kevin oh. just sneezed his eyeliner all over oh his eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's getting worse. That's so funny. Oh my God. This is what happens. When your liner or mascara gets up on your perfectly blended eyeshadow. I'm going to scream because the eyeliner was totally even. Well, I'm going to cry. So I just did for her. You can see it's very rounded. The inside is like just a matte. So I'm using like a bone matte color there. And then it almost feels like she has a gold on the inside of the lid. And that's really it. And then lashes, she barely has liner on the top. Mostly she only has it on the bottom. But just don't uh, sneeze it off. Yeah. How did you uh, feel about the ethereal palette? So I feel like it's very basic. Yeah. Uh, the shimmer formula, I feel like is similar to the Urban Decay, like mm -hmm. the single colors that you could get. So I feel like it's really not anything too, too special. The um, moon dust ones, right? From Urban yeah, Decay. Yeah, yeah. Moon dust shadows that are like super pretty and they give you like that almost wet looking shine. When a shadow looks wet, it usually just doesn't have like that that pigment backing to it. So yeah. it looks more transparent. So it's just that sparkle. Honestly, nothing crazy. Cause how much is it? 68. Ooh. I think it's a little steep for what it is. It's like, I feel like I have all these colors at home. I know. Looking at these, I'm like, I've made this eye look with you know, other palettes before. So I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not too impressed right now. Like, yeah, for the price, especially. Yeah. Let me dry this eyeliner so I don't sneeze it uh, off again. Okay, so I'm, I was picking the gold and I did get this in PR. This is the uh, Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5. I didn't know this existed. You told me okay. about this. The last year's one, you don't remember Lightwork 4 blowing up all over the place? No. It. This, I mean, this oh. is even better. This is so stunning. And these are like, I think 125, so it's a splurge. Because girl, the formula in this oh. is like insane so beautiful foil this is why it's so expensive they're all like duochrome shifting wow. look at that blue is blind is look insane. at that on camera that's it's blinding. really crazy this Girl. is what i wanted for pat mcgrath for 128 tell I me wanted this level of shadow yes, absolutely so danessa's 125 Ooh, a little asmr <laughs> yeah fresh mirror oh i think i'm gonna go in with fearless be Ooh, because it has so. it's oh, with gold green. with green shift oh i mean for yeah like adapt it let's make yeah, it yeah, yeah because yeah. gaga's didn't have shimmer but like i want a little yeah little extra shimmer on mine i can't wait to see this green on camera oh my god it almost pulls like more gold on camera i know which hers is actually gold Wow. But I love that it's predominantly it gold, green. but it will shift and catch the green. <laughs> You're not digging it? When the rest of the makeup's on. I'm oh, sure. I know. Yeah. It's always nakey nakey with yeah. the eyes. No, nakey nudie. Nakey nudie. Now it's lash time. I'm going in with Nobliss. Same. With, oh, <laughs> twinsies. <laughs> these are hands down my favorite band lash. Yeah, you turned me on to these oh. and I love them. I think I put these on the wrong eye. Shut up. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna go for it now. You use a tweezer when you apply your lashes? Yeah. Oh my God, I can. You use your hands? Yeah, I can. I can't have something go near my eye. Like I, I gotta like feel it. Like I can get a closer application. What about, are you guys team tweezer, team hands when it comes to lashes? Or team foot? I, yeah, apply it with your foot. An ape putting lashes out with their yeah. foot? Just like, Oh my God, that's so cute. What a cute little image. Time for foundation. I think I'm gonna mix my Anastasia Luminous and a little bit of the white LA Girl to kind of lighten it. I don't really think you have to go light with this because in the movie, her skin is normal, but I kind of want to do just like a hybrid. I think I'm just gonna go in with the House Labs. Very nice. fitting. I am gonna color correct a little because I have five o'clock shadow. And then a little trick I like to do when I have a color corrector like this and I don't really want the color corrector to mix with the foundation is now I'm gonna take a little bit of the white Anastasia powder and just powder that color corrector so that it sets and doesn't mix when I go in with my foundation. Wow. I always think that's the best part of Halloween is like being able to kind of go drag. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Like yeah. just, you don't have to worry about like texture or whatever. Cause I'm like You're people. You're packing in the makeup. Yeah. Too. Wow. Love it's it. Look at the dip, like foundation, foundation compared to my forehead. Can you just, you're giving your face at the end of the day when the foundation has come off your nose. Absolutely. 
girls. I just <laughs> tried a new oh. luxury foundation yesterday when we filmed. Horrible. I was so sad because I had such high hopes. Like, like it looks so beautiful. What is wrong with these high-end brands? That it comes off so easy. And it's not just you. No. It doesn't just come off of your... It's like it always slides off like around the nose area. I'm like... I know. Have we not like progressed where we can create formulas? I don't get it. Slide? And it's literally, it was called all day. <laughs> I was like, where? I'm where? Like, I look like Uncle Fester. <laughs> yes. <I'm> like, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. I love Debbie. What was Halloween costumes you always used to do as a kid? Oh my God. Okay. This is so easy. I for feel me. like you took Halloween very seriously. Always. Me too. I always made my own stuff. Love that. Yeah. I was always like store bought vampire okay. costume. Oh, me too until a certain age. Cause like that, your parents almost kind of tell you what you're doing. Oh no, they didn't. Uh -huh. uh -uh. I said, I want to be a vampire. And it was every year. If the writing wasn't on the wall that I always wanted to be a vampire, the gayest yes. thing alive. I yes. was like, Cause there is drama with a vampire. And There's you know gay I, drama. You know what I always wanted though? I feel like this is like every gay kid always wanted to be this. I always wanted to be a witch. Of course. Like I wanted the long dress yes. and the hat and the broomstick and the oh, whole night. Just, I wanted to queen out, I know. But I was too afraid to ask. Yes. My sister had a witch hat with like a built in wig. You remember those? Like and the baseball hats with the one yes of hair. Yes. And yeah, was that, that was like the closest when I was younger to being like having a wig. And I always used to wear that and but like more use it to In like June. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like feel my zhuzh with that. Yeah. The coolest thing I ever made, I got a bunch of poster board, sprayed it all silver with like metallic silver paint and literally cut it all up and constructed it with like tape and hot glue to be the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. How old were you? Oh, my God. I had to be sixth grade and I did it. I've always did projects like that. I feel like that's where I'm at now. Like yes. every year when I do something, I want it to be like unique and custom. And yeah. I love doing things kind of like not store bought. Very first time I met a group of Casey's friends, it was a Halloween party. I kept saying, I was like, it's a costume party. And he kept saying, he was like, yeah, I think. And I'm like, no, no, no. Cut to, again, me psycho making everything. We went as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and I made- Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I made the costumes from scratch. I carved seashells out of foam for the boobs. We looked so good, did it. Get to the party. We're the only ones in costume. Everyone's in flannel. It literally was like a movie where I opened the door and 30 people are just like, and it's looking, Mean Girls. It's literally, mean girls and, and I was like, I'm ugly, and going like, to kill him. Okay, so were you like fully embarrassed or, and did he like, did he know? That's Casey, that's my husband. He's the person that he will like maybe overthink certain details that I think I'm like, who cares? Like it'll work itself out. But then if it's something like that, where I'm like, are we gonna get murdered when we get there? He's like, oh, we'll see. I'm like, no, <laughs> like, no, cause like, it's embarrassing. Yes. You walk into a place and it's like, you're the only one dressed up. It's like, what are you Girl. doing? Girl. And then and everyone's gonna look at you the whole night and I don't want that level of attention of like everyone staring at you. <gasps> but see, that's why I no. go so hard though, because I think because the costume was, and we're, we were older, so like people aren't but like- it was around Halloween, right? Yes, oh, okay. it was a Halloween party, but it just wasn't a costume party, so. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 so. Why not just have- uh, I don't know. I think that's why I go so hard because the costumes were so good that uh, people were like, oh my God, that's like amazing. And they were actually like, yeah. I think they actually gave us props with her like cheekbones. We're obviously not doing prosthetics here because too much. My thought process is I would rather add the white and really, and the concealer to really get the top of that cheekbone highlighted, add the cream to make that pointy thing, set everything, and then I can reinforce everything with powder. But mm -hmm. I would rather do it in this order. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kevin Aquan because it's so full coverage and mix a little bit of the white. Thank God for this white LA girl. <laughs> Our natural cheekbone is gonna be a point. I can see where it's highlighted. I'm very happy that I'm using everything in this video that I argued to keep in the declutter, which I haven't used in forever. So you were right. I'm very happy to see you using it too. I Cause I was like, at least I know you're like keeping like all the Kevin Aquan colors. Yes. Like, and you used, um, you were just telling me off camera too, that you use the Dermablend, the like in body makeup. I did. So I'm like really happy that like, I know that was one of the things we threw away. You actually needed it and it came in handy. So I will give it to you. 
Well, I have another one. So I just use that one. <laughs> Time for contour bronzer. What are you using? I'm gonna go in with the oh. Trixie Cosmetics in Sunkiss. So I'm just gonna take that on the back of the hand with it's her. Done. Yeah, one of her brushes actually. Oh, nice. Love her brushes. Now we're gonna do the, okay, iconic cheeks here. I'm using a very cool tone contour. This is the Ulta Beauty foundation stick. That's also like a hidden, they have contour shades no one knows about. So, oh what God. Shade? Deep. Not medium? No, because I want it more gray and it blends, it's so creamy, it blends out so well. God, I feel like I have like one try at this. <laughs> it seems like it comes like this and yeah. then down a little bit. What do we think, placement? I think it's good. Right? Yeah, because when it's all blended down too, like when yeah. you start to like blend it through, I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, you see how cool tone, like that's, uh Wow, and that's the deep. That's the deep, that's wow. what I mean. I just feel like it works. These blend out like a dream. Oh, the Trixie ones are insane. That's how I feel about these Ulta ones. Not that we're shocked here that Trixie, I know, we've talked about them 90 Trixie's times. Trixie's putting out incredible products. Oh, girl. <gasps> that's it. Like, makeup is insane. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Now I need to show to do this on the other side. Wish me luck. You're already setting your face, Jesus H. Well, I have to. I know. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, yeah. We are at the point where now I can chill. You're past watch. the point of no return. Yeah, yeah, I gotta. We're flowering the chicken. This yeah, morning. yeah. You know, like it's gotta, it's gotta happen. All right, we're flowered down. I mean, I powder puffed like crazy, and now we're gonna kind of go in and do detail work just yes. to like bring out the highlights and everything a little bit more. One size. Ooh, love that. Flower power and then, like the little brush. I wish the handle was a little longer on this, but I get for travel cute. Yes. But I look like I would love if the handle was a little bit longer. And that's Trixie Cosmetics. Yeah, both are. The Flower Power bronzers and then the brush. You can actually, like when it first came out, remember they did the duo? Yes. You got like the brushes, the highlight brush and the bronzer brush, I think. Yes, with... I did that when I got them. Same, and I love, 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 love. But I always use this lighter color first and then I go into like the pocket of the cheek and deepen it with like the darker shade. Oh, look at the white, the difference. That looks so good. The shading and contouring just is like, oh, Wait. look at this difference. Oh, that the versus white that. Literally Look at the white. It. Look how much that makes it, because it makes it look like it's coming to a point more. And then we're going to blend the bottom here with a, like, not as, I mean, maybe a white, but like adding shadows and highlights make such a difference. Oh, it really does. It really does. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Well, I feel like there's two genres of Halloween movie. There's scary movie, and then there's like Halloween campy. camp. Yeah. Yes, great. Um, so like campy, Hocus Pocus. Of course. It's like a classic. Like, it's not even like... I know everyone. The best to film that movie. ever, but it's iconic in ben a way. Ben Midler eats in that movie. The second one. Horrible. It was almost like they didn't know why we all loved it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like getting on the Roombas like ruined it for me. I know, yeah. like enough, girl. Obviously, it was a Disney movie, but the first one didn't feel like a Disney movie, and the second one did. You the know, the first one was Disney. Yeah, I didn't know that. That didn't feel like Disney. The oh first gosh. one, I know every single one of Bette Midler's lines. Oh, look, what another glorious morning. <laughs> Makes me sick. So good. Uh, oh my God. Just the so way good. she talks the whole time. Sisters, did you hear what he called you? She is so she good is in that. iconic. And I feel like the second one did not live up. No. And what was Sarah Jessica Parker doing in the second one? She had a little bit of foundation and a brow. Girl. And she showed oh. up with that boo-boo wig. A little bit of a brow. That brow black was brows. black yeah. Sharpie brow. Yeah. The minute that second trailer came out and I saw Sarah Jessica Parker's eyebrows, I was like, who did this to her? It's almost like the continuity of like what you did in the first one you got to do in the second. Like if Bette Midler didn't have those small lips. Oh, totally, totally. It wouldn't have been the same movie. But which... I feel like at least Sarah Jessica Parker's makeup in the first one was slightly blended. The second was just just horrible horrendous yeah yeah look at that blend it's giving sickness it's giving black plague <laughs> it's giving i need to eat a cube of cheese before i pass out yeah did you ever so see good. angelina jolie and maleficent no she eats in that movie she is so good really oh my god i mean she not was, really like i'm yeah. shocked but like i can't believe i've never seen it she was made to be maleficent like the voice the everything she's so good it's mm. insane what's your favorite scary halloween movie oh my god i love horror movies too so this is so you hard, really do something like every halloween that i watch is halloween mm -hmm. so that's like a, a staple for me every year to watch like the jamie original lee halloween curtis. yeah jamie lee curtis just jamie really lee kermis jamie lee kermis <laughs> on kermis. a gurney yeah yeah halloween is one of those 
those movies that it's timeless and, it, mm -hmm. and at the time too they barely had a budget for that movie jamie lee curtis has talked about like not being paid appropriately for that mm. and even scream scream is one scream of is amazing yeah <laughs> i like scream better than halloween Oh, Scream is my favorite franchise. Yes. Uh, there's something so timeless too that you can watch at any time of the year. That's what yes. I love about Scream is that there's no seasonal timestamp on Scream. It's not during like the winter or spring or fall. It's like this could happen any time yes. of the year. Apparently it's like it has such like a gay cult following. Oh God, yeah. Because it's so like campy and fun. And you said you went to go see the premiere of the new one. Oh my God. Like... I went to the premiere of the new one and it was like, it's a, like a gay PR thing. So it's like a bunch of gay like content creators and like other celebrities and whatever. And the theater was hysterical because when stuff would happen, it was just a bunch of gay guys being like, Woo! like when Courtney Cox came I on. I was going to say, yes. who came on the screen and everyone screamed. Everybody was like freaking out. Courtney yeah, Cox. it was yeah. so funny. All right, girl. Honestly, both of us only have lips. Yeah. So we're going to pop on lip. We'll tell you what the lips are when we get back, as well as the costumes. <gasps> get ready for the transformation. Is my telephone ringing? Let's go to the grocery <laughs> store. I keep forgetting. Forgetting I have these on and walking into doorways. Uh, yeah, and I'm seven foot tall with my shoes on. Absolutely, and, because you yeah. are already 6'4", and yep. you're wearing platform elevator shoes. Yep. The makeup of this, obviously that, I'm a psycho, so I took a very long time to make it super perfect, but this makeup for both of these is relatively easy. Like I said, dress, these, this, this, Amazon, like $60. If that. Lip, we did promise. Oh, lip, that. yes. Makeup Forever, Artist Pencil, uh, Full Red, and then ColourPop in the shade Risk Taker, the new Ultra Matte. That matte lipstick is arousing. The new ColourPop, and it was like just like her shade of red that she was wearing. It's pulling a little darker on camera, but yes. like in person, it's like a true like bright red. Yes. I love it. What is my lip? Um, it's the, you Revlon. know, I live for these yes. Revlon Colorstay Satin Inks in the shade On, on a Mission. On a Mission. God. And like, like this, stunning. literally, the gloss, look how shiny. And it stays like this. Yeah, like, if like you touch it, it doesn't yeah. like, transfer. Uh, nothing. No and I took forever because mm -hmm. I needed to do the Angelina Jolie big top lip. This is our Halloween costumes this year. I hope you had fun watching this video. Make yeah. sure to check out our Halloween podcast episode because we're going to be doing a podcast just like this. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for doing this. Oh my me. God. Thank you for having me here. Oh my God. Love of course. Love Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notifications so you never miss an upload. Wherever you are, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. Bye.